Hello and welcome. This is the Great White Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Earlier this week I was in the hospital and not able to record these devotions, but I'm out and here they are. This one is for Tuesday, January the 25th. And we will be reading the out of the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, verses 1 through 11. Here's the word of the Lord. Then some Pharisees and teachers of the law came to Jesus from Jerusalem and asked, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? They don't wash their hands before they eat. Jesus had replied, And why do you break the command of God for the sake of your tradition? For God said, Honor your father and mother, and anyone who curses their father and mother is to be put to death. But you say that if anyone declares that what might have been used to help their father or mother is devoted to God, they are not to honor their father or mother with it. Thus you nullify the word of God for the sake of your tradition. You hypocrites, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain, their teachings are merely human rules. Jesus called the crowd to him and said, Listen and understand. What goes in someone's mouth does not defile them, but what comes out of their mouth, that is what defiles them. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is called Heaven's Menru, Menu, Memo by Rob Prince. Here's what Rob writes. Did I miss a heavenly memo that start, stated all Bible verses concerning gossiping, gambling, and spreading rumors of null and void? Was there a new proclamation from on high giving the green light to murmuring and slanderous talk? What about vulgar or coarse language? Is letting out a four-letter exp expletive suddenly okay from a casual per usual of social media to a few conversations and even some flat out lies spoken by followers of Christ or at least people who claim to be followers of Christ. The growing frequencies of sin of the tongue or sins of the keyboard seem to indicate that such behaviors are no longer all that sinful. Truth alert, they're still wrong. If we to receive a memo for on high, it would require us to remember Jesus' words. What comes out of their mouth is what defiles it. Paul got the memo and echoed Jesus in Ephesians 4, verse 29. Do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths. If Paul were writing today, he might have penned, let no whole unwholesome talk come out of your mouths or be posted on your social media feed. In other words, let the memo read, Oh, be careful, little mouth, of what you say. The hymn is Take My Life and Let It Be Consecrated by Francis R. Haverdell. Take my lips and let them be filled with messages from thee. And from the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 23, Those who guard their mouths and their tongues keep themselves from calamity. And that is your daily devotion for Tuesday, January the 25th, just a few days late. Have a blessed day.